Good morning, third grade. Today we will answer the bucket question. Okay, remember that we talked about sources of light. We have two sources of light, artificial light and natural light. Both of them is luminous object. Okay, so we have investigate different light sources. A lighter, a candle, a torch, a table lamp, a matchbox. Okay, now we will read the first question and answer it. What is the source of light in each case? All of them is artificial lights and it is luminous objects. 2. Which of the above mentioned lights is suitable for you to read a book and why? The table lamp because the light is directly on the book. 3. Do you need any of these lights in the, day in the daytime for reading? Why or why not? No, beca because there is light from the sun in the daytime. Okay, now move to the next page. Self-evaluation. Name sources of light in your house, for example, electricity and candles. Which source of light is the most efficient in our life and why? The sun, because it's luminous objects. Which source of light is the most efficient for our nighttime activities and why? So, electricity, it's good for your activities at night time because the, the sunlight is absent at night time. The last question, tell how life would be if there were no light at all. So, it's very difficult. We cannot see anything. Okay. Um, here, we have... Laser light. It's also artificial light. Okay. We will read the paragraph. In the middle of the past century, scientists learned how to produce a special kind of light called laser light. Laser light travels in narrow beam in only one direction has many use, uses in our daily life like surgery so this is the uses of the laser number one surgery communications and reading the prices of items in the supermarket like this this mesh in this machine we have laser light it's help the uh, uh, the the man in supermarket to read the price of the uh, of an object okay that's for today thank you for listening